Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nas. And I'm Alba, and we are currently in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video, we're gonna take you to visit with us one of the most famous places in the city. We're gonna do a day tour. Well, not a day tour because we're organizing it, but we're gonna go to the Grand Palace, to Wat Phra and Wat Arun. These are some of the oldest, most traditional, and like I said, most famous sites in the city. So if you're visiting Bangkok, you won't want to miss them. We're gonna head off now to the Grand Palace, which is our starting place, because when we buy a ticket there, it'll give us access to Wat Phra as well, if yes. I'm not mistaken. Yes. And it costs 500 baht per person to walk in. And it's important to know that the dress code is uh, essentially non-revealing. So yeah. there's a number of things that you cannot wear, like shorts, or tank tops. So exactly. that's what I'm wearing, like t-shirt, long trousers. Um, but we are gonna take you with us, so we're gonna tell you all about it. But it's already uh, nine, almost, and yeah. we know that the crowds get big, so it's time to get going. Bonka. A lot of people warned us that there's a few scams going around outside the palace. People already tried to divert us to buy their private tours, but all you need to do is follow the signs to the main entrance to go buy the ticket. So that's what we're doing. Right when we entered, we saw the security checkpoint and this is where they were turning people away who were not following the dress code. But it was fairly straightforward. They checked our bags and then all we needed to do was follow the crowds until we find the ticket stall to buy our entrance tickets. Got the tickets, 500 baht per person, like you said. And now we're gonna follow the crowds and keep on going inside the palace. Excited! Once we were inside, we were shocked with the amount of people that were there, which is why it's so important to go early. Last time we were in Bangkok, we were not able to visit the palace because the queue from the outside went around the block. Once we were inside, we just avoided the big groups and were able to enjoy our visit. As you walk in, the first thing you see is Wat Phra, also known as the Temple of the Emerald Buddha. This is not to be confused with Wat Phra Chetupon, also known as Wat Pho, a different temple in the same area. We just walked around appreciating the beautiful architecture of the temple. And because we were going without a guide, we didn't really know what everything meant. So if you want to learn more about the history during your visit, make sure to book a tour guide, which you can do at the entrance. Handmade paintings and they are incredible. And the most awesome thing is look how close you are to them. Like obviously you can't touch them, but you could like it's a distance. It's amazing. You can see all the details. We followed the signs that took us to where the Grand Palace is located and wow we were taken aback by how beautiful the architecture of the Grand Palace is. You can only visit it from the outside, but it's still totally worth it. Look at how stunning. We just came out of the Wat Phra Museum. 
unfortunately we weren't able to record because it's not allowed there's a big uh, set of reconstruction around and a lot of the things that you see outside is not the original pieces so seeing them with a level of detail that have been deteriorated over 250 years right here amazing i recommend you go in oh by the way you have to take your shoes off at some point so just uh word of caution there bring socks The Museum of Textiles is also included in the ticket, so we're gonna have a quick look since we're here and we paid for it. Okay, so we also could not record in here, but it was so nice. It's much emptier than the rest of the site, so we definitely recommend checking out it's quite quick. Um, but they have on display the dresses from the Queen City Kid, and it was so nice because it's the actual dresses and they are there and you can go around and see them. It's really cool. But now we're done with this place, we're gonna go and see what I don't. To go from the Grand Palace to Watarun, just follow Google Maps to Pier Ta Tian. It is approximately an 11 minute walk and there's no signs or anything like that, but once you get closer, you'll start seeing more people and you will also see a queue. You will have to take a short boat ride to get to Watarun, but don't worry if the queue is a little bit long because there's boats coming constantly. So just wait for your turn and you will be on your way. Only five bucks. Wow. You are allowed to go inside of the temple, but of course, rule number one in Thailand when visiting temples is take off your shoes. And rule number two, and most importantly, be respectful and quiet because obviously people are praying, but that's exactly what we did. We went inside and wow, this place just never stops amazing us. been here before me and Alba came here in 2016 so that's over seven years ago it is just as beautiful it is just as worth visiting we've just been inside uh, of the praying uh, area which is amazing because in other places you can't go inside and now we're gonna take you right there to the main event Watarun
this is by far one of our favorite temples in Thailand because not only it's beautiful but also it allows you to go into the praying area you can climb up the stairs it's located next to the river which gives it beautiful views and of course it has a really affordable price to visit so if you guys are not sure which temple to visit we highly recommend going to Wataroon because just look how beautiful When we finished our tour around Wataroon, we took the boat back and went to grab something to eat. There's lots of street food and restaurants around that area, so just pick one and enjoy! Thank you guys so much for watching, this is gonna be it for today's video, but make sure to give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos of Southeast Asia coming soon. Thank you and see you in our next video!